by West Beer, and I'm here with the cast of The Three Little Pigs from South Africa. Hi guys, how are you doing? Great, thank awesome. you. Awesome. How's your run going so far? We're near the end of the fringe. It's been fantastic. Uh, the response has been amazing. We've been absolutely blown away. We've got so far I think, three five-star reviews wow. and a four-star from Scotsman. So we're a happy little pigs. Yeah. So can you tell the people that don't know um, us a, little bit, a little bit about your show? Yes. Yes. Yes, we can. <laughs> and will you? <laughs> yes. Yes, I will. Um, basically, it is, it is taken from the, the children's story, the three little pigs, but we've kind of subverted it, twisted it, and deep fried it. Um, we dealt with it as a crime thriller. Yeah. Uh, we kind of uh, took the, the story and, uh, and thought to ourselves, what if we dealt with this as a, as a murder story? Uh, and gave it a bit of an Orwellian Reservoir Dogs kind of twist. Um, and it all of a sudden became about um, uh, pig murders, police murders. The pigs became the police and then uh, it became about a, a investigating that, really placing it within the kind of crime noir genre, uh, gave us a lot of scope and also gave us a, a lot of um, uh, fun. We also uh, just play animals throughout the show. Yeah. So every like pigs are part of a few other surprises. I'm not going to tell you what the strip is. But, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. So what was it? Was it Three Little Pigs in particular that interested you, or did you work with other fables, or was this? You know, um, we kind of stumbled on the, on the idea by mistake. It was really it, initially our impulse was just to work together as um, as theatre makers. Uh, myself and James worked together quite a lot back in back home in South Africa. And Albert and Tara, our director and co-writer, uh, worked together a lot. And we kind of have a mutual respect and love for each other's work. And <laughs> that's where the impulse came from. And we then it was a question: Okay, well, what are we going to make this show about? Yeah. And we thought, well, let's use the existing text. Uh, and uh, we thought it would be really fun to play with something um, really kind of innocent and then see how we can sub subvert that and make it strange and dark and scary. So children's story, Three Little Pigs seemed obvious uh, for us. Uh, you, could, you could say that, or you could just say that we had to um, put in a title for a festival <laughs> because we said we wanted to do a show at the festival, so we did, and that was the first one that came to hand. And we, we, it all just worked out fantastic. Yeah, I mean that was the thing. We had to, we were forced into a, into a deadline of like, okay, well, we, do, we decided to work together. We've got to do the show, and then it was a, a kind of process of elimination. But it was a really happy kind of stumbling upon to this thing because it was so much fun, kind of you know, feeling like we were boxed into a corner of how we, we needed to tell the story, and then realizing that the more you kind of delved into it, the more doors opened and the yeah. darker and crazier and, uh, and stranger it could become. Uh, and then uh, uh, I think our happiest kind of discovery is that we could place it very specifically in a South African context dealing with um, South African uh, political and police corruption. Uh, and that became very interesting because there were a lot of very high profile cases at the time that were unfolding in the press and the media that we drew from. The source material is, is really, really, really fertile. Rich, yeah. Yeah. Um, but having said that, I mean, it's very important for us to, to let uh, the international audience know that you don't have to understand the specific South African context it to you. It works as a piece of data. Exactly. Well. Yeah, but if, 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 if at any point you find it hard to believe, it's all real. It's all true. It's crazy, but it's true. But we, as theatre makers and storytellers, it was very important for us to deal with it as a gripping kind of crime thriller that anyone could have access to. And really, like, for us, huge influences on the style were things like um, The Wire, The Sopranos, um, the Usual Suspects. Um, what was Usual the one you were mentioning over there? Uh, Alec Confidential. Yeah, yeah. That, kind of, that kind of style. The noir crime thriller was really how we wanted to inform the storytelling. So if you come in and you have no idea of the, the political context of specific South African storytelling, it doesn't matter because it's, it's really a, it's a murder mystery. Okay, well thank you so much for coming and talking to me. Where can we catch three little pigs? Uh, we're at Assembly George Square, Square. One. One. Uh, quarter to six every night until every the end night. of the festival. Yeah. Okay, wicked. Well, best of luck with the rest of the run. Thank you. I've been Imogen for Waffle TV.